Hello everyone and welcome to CD's Championship Live Summit in the crew too. So, um, I'm gonna only do one run of this as I'm going to campus tomorrow. Uh, and yeah, I'm not only, as you may know, kind of talented on Alpha Grand Prix, uh, but I kind of lost my skill, unfortunately, for a time. So, uh, we'll see what happens now. So first we have Slalom at uh, Miami Harbor. Which I'm already not doing very well on for some reason. Okay, come on, focus, I'm trying to go through it. I think I'm overall I have not been to go than this one. Maybe I need to send it for this. Oh, that was bad. You should keep a perfect circle. Like that. No, oh, I missed it. Damn it. No, my god, this is like the most simple thing I'm missing. Come on. <sighs> Grandma Shawnee, come on, focus. Seriously. PD to nice. I for some reason had a very crappy PD before, and I still kind of do. To be honest, I'm just gonna go to the start for some reason. Next, we have Escape at San Bernardino. Okay, let's go. See what happens. I'll actually do this one for a drag car. Uh, last time, yeah, I think I might have had it. The last time disappeared about a year ago in a summit. Uh, and yeah, we'll see what happens. It was like the last time it was sharply enough last up here than uh, that went. That turned into this car, unfortunately. Root Magma. Love Magma forever. Hmm. Ah, it's still. Removed the pain. He still removed a uh, win wall, I guess. You just have to buy the car instead of just win it. <laughs> I just love how, like, Sid said that, you know, when they added a normal Nighthawk. No, when they added a Nighthawk KTM for Motocross, they removed the pay wall. <laughs> and the next motor pass, they added a Divine Edition Shiron, <laughs> which is meta. <laughs> Uh oh, uh oh, uh, turn. Okay, that's good enough, I guess. Oh, powerful. Okay, some talent for that. Oh, what? I accidentally pressed the gear. Oh, not today, 35 kilometers. I know how to do that, but I'm not sure if it's possible with a controller. Just, um, you have to turn and go towards salt flats. And that's how you do it. You can even do it with a fiber car, apparently. No, she wrote. You can do some things with the squeak car, man. Nowadays. Yeah, that's silver for drag car. As I said, it's hard to handle. It just gives me more of a challenge. It's not as boring as if I have to drive with a hypercar. Um, as well as it gives you. 
you know, a challenge where it can have even better reward. After all, yeah? Because you'll always still go further than this. Will I go for? Come on, come on, come on. Oh, that was close, that was close. Because you can do... I can do 15 kilometers looking for. Maybe even more now. I don't know. I got better since then. I think. You shut up, ambulance. Now get out of here with the freaking bike flies. That's, that's so cringe. <laughs> Makes me feel <laughs> all today at Chicago. I just can't get my line. Yeah. Because I tried with Zifu earlier. I wasn't sure if I had it. Yeah. Not today, he's broken a barrier of maximum score here, and he actually hit 46,260 points. Because originally we thought the maximum point score you could have here is 44,907. Apparently it can be faster than that. And yes, he didn't do this in a non-existent yet plane. It is in a zip code. So yeah. Come on. I for some reason had issues in Fort 4 recently. I for some reason had a bigger and bigger issue. I don't know why. I still got 44 yesterday, but it's not even a 44 that I'm satisfied with. I can definitely get to 907 again. Next we have Alpha Grand Prix race at... Uh, Alpha Grand Prix Historic Car Race, I'm gonna be in Alpha Grand Prix Car is gonna be at Yes Peter Cities, Washington. I forgot that I'm a lane. Oh my god, I keep forgetting this, that's so <laughs> stupid. America's capital. They call it the District of Columbia. <laughs> uh, I, okay, apparently it's like a million things sees me right now. I don't know what it was, but <laughs> but okay. <laughs> Two races to go, and this first one is through the heart of America's capital. They call it the District of Columbia, because it's not a part of the United States, of course. But that doesn't mean it's neutral. And these drivers today won't be in neutral either. It's top gear thereafter. So let's see them rip through Washington. Focus on the race, not on the freaking commentator. There we go. There we go. That's perfect. Wow, two races to go. And this first one is through the heart of America's capital. They call it the District of Columbia because it's not a part of the 50 states. Oh, there we go. Now it's in the basket. That doesn't mean it's neutral. And these drivers today won't be in neutral either. It's top gear thereafter. So let's see them rip through Washington. This is my favorite. Uh, Miss Peter CD race. No, I was ever back. <laughs> Ten years. I don't particularly really like this one. That's what I avoided. Now it's near for I got here. Well, it's been pretty smooth racing along the National Mall so far, but they're turning now into the Administrative District, where they'll have to start contending with some much sharper turns. Let's see how they handle that.
There we go, I'll hit it again somehow. This one's going pretty well so far, so let's let's not have the worst last lap in the world. Turns, making their way back onto the National Mall. Come on, go. Get out of that one. Wow, and that's a wrap for Washington. Great day, great race. Already? And even I just greater things this. still to come. Next up, we'll be racing through the loop at the north side Wait, of oh, Chicago. Not right now, but I'll go down Wait, no, never mind. We do. Start right now, I think. Do we? Not even sure. Next time, Alpha Rocket Street Cars, we're gonna be in Alpha Rocket Cars, we're gonna do the US Speed Through Cities, Los Angeles. No, uh, Chicago will be next. Because I forgot that Yassid Design wasn't next. Yassid Design will be uh, this next one. From the car. <laughs> Hey, thanks for joining us today in sunny Southern California for this next stage of the USST through the beautiful city of Long Beach. I don't how to angle properly because for some reason I have I have started getting issues with like how to angle turns properly. I don't know why. I come to the ball on that. That's not a roller coaster up ahead. It's a pedestrian footbridge designed to look like one. Built in honor of an amusement park that used to be here known as the Pike. Oh crap, now I think I should have more on that. Yeah, I'll try and mix that. So kind of experimenting. On these tracks, but I don't know. I don't know even so much better if I just have more time to do it. But I just all I can do next is just play tomorrow, and that's it. I won't have time to play anymore. And that's unfortunate because I like something like this, where you just like oh, where you like just alpha graphic or like just uh, uh, Marcos. Coming up after these two turns. On a clear day, you can see all the way out to Catalina and the Channel Islands. I think it's right, whatever. <laughs> My bad. So things are gonna be done. Yeah, and that's race number six in the can. We've only got two more left, and it's gonna take us all the way across the country to the capital oh, of the Potomac, Washington. Yeah, I should have all right that I should have all around that then. Next we have Alpha Grand Prix Racing, it's going to be Alpha Grand Prix Racing, going to be excellent for creators, Yassi, Design, X American Patrol, Adidas, Peter Cities, Chicago. We just turned from a best car to a worst car, off and every. Like, there's nothing good about this game. 
Many thanks you to the mayor of Chicago for agreeing to host us today. And best of luck to our drivers as they kick off this last race of the USST season. Um, like, it handles terribly, the acceleration is terrible, top speed's not impressive, there's just nothing good about this car. I don't like it. I keep realizing that the acceleration is like not much better than a street race car around top speed. Or like Epic around top speed. It's just really, really bad, guys. I don't know. The sharpest ones are definitely too already. Right? Coming up full throttle on turn one now, at the site of the famous 1893 Chicago World's Fair. Wait, this is... I forgot this like 180 turn is a sort of wall ride, I think. Uh, I'll try now. At least I wall ride on the turning car. Okay, and let's try to wall ride it, wall ride it now. It doesn't do much, but still. So I always have to this. Okay, let's try to wall ride that. Okay, no, I'm retrying that, dude. This is like, why am I missing so many things that are better? That's, that's not good. Like, I, no, I want to do this better, guys, okay? Here we are today in the Windy City on the southwest bank of Lake Michigan on an absolutely gorgeous race day afternoon. Many thanks to the mayor of Chicago for agreeing to host us today. And best of luck to our drivers as they kick off this last race of the USST season. Okay, come on, right, dude. Mm -hmm. Come on, right, guys. Okay, come to this. It's still faster than what it was before.
coming up full throttle on turn one now at the site of the famous 1893 Chicago World's Fair. properly down there. Looks like we're coming in pretty fast towards a hairpin turn just up ahead. Okay, 59. And that brings us to the end this. of this well, last race of the Q&A Tour. Because H2 Mabox is full. What an amazing series of races this has been. For our drivers, and for everyone watching at home. We'll be back in a few months with something new and very special. So keep your eye on Motorflix, and I'll see you soon. My first year's Peter next. Wow. Nice. Next we have Auto Motor to the Serenka Race. I'm gonna be in Auto Motor Car and it's gonna be a Duke the Speeder City, San Francisco. I probably like the Seattle one the most. Ah, good old San Francisco. There's a lot of nicknames. This one also isn't bad, but, but I me, think I'll like Seattle I just one. I've lived here in SF for 30 years and proud of it. So let's take a high octane tour through what I consider the greatest city in the world and show them what it means to be no. the USST. Hitting walls is not what it means. <laughs> okay. Come on, man. Ah, good old San Francisco. There's a lot of nicknames for the city by the bay, but me, I just call it home. I've lived here in SF for 30 years and proud of it. So let's take a high octane tour through what I consider the greatest city in the world and show them what it means to be the USST.
over to Oakland and the East Bay. It passes through a couple of small islands along the way, too. One of which, known as Treasure Island, is entirely man-made. That was a bad freaking beginning there. Like, oh my gosh, so many walls were hit there. now some of the Victorian style architecture that's typical of homes in San Francisco. Rents are pretty high these days and the city enforces strict rent control. So when people snag a house like that, they stay a long time. It's actually like quite adequate to go in time with the installation and all. <laughs> oh crap! Kind of wiggled off there. Fifty two. At least it's not reading the the like, all the It's not like uh, scrub. It's not removing like the the most recent parts. It's removing the lowest tier part. That's also most recent. That's what I mean. No, it wasn't a PD. Switch. Next we have Alpha Grumpy and Restraint Cars. I'm gonna be in Alpha Grumpy car and it's gonna be at USP to City Seattle and it's gonna be excellent for KTMX Bar Spear Racing Edition. Back in the day, one of my favorite cars. Man, two years since it's been the best car ever. And it was replaced you know, by normal as well. And now it's replaced back by Alpha Mark When the sun comes out, this is one of the most beautiful cities in the country. You've got Puget Sound, you've got the mountains, you've got a city just bursting with life. So, let's kick it into high gear and check out Seattle! I said I probably like Here this one the most. Entertain us! This car is so crap now compared to everything else. It's like the second worst car. I'm still thinking that yes, it design is worth Like, it still handles well. It just... no, the X-ray is well as well. The only thing that's bad about this car is the top speed. It only revs up to 440 km per hour. But like... Which is a wasp. <laughs> it was right next to the camera right now. Hope you didn't hear that. You know, the Pacific Northwest it's also... doesn't have that much grip. It's kind of sliding. You know, always out, like that this though. This is one of the most beautiful cities in the country. You've got Puget Sound, you've got the mountains, you've got a city just bursting with life. So, 
let's kick it into high gear and check out Seattle. Yo. Here we are now. Entertain us. I have to get used to this family again. Go ahead a little bit. On the left, that's the famous Space Needle, built for the 1962 Seattle World's Fair. As the story goes, its outline was first doodled on a cocktail napkin. Today, it's the most recognizable shape in the city. Uh, no. Looks like they missed a line. It's turned there. You know, the Pacific Northwest might have a reputation for being gray and rainy, but when Just the sun comes out, this is one of the most beautiful cities in the country. You've got Puget Sound, you've got the mountains, you've got a city just bursting with life. So, let's kick it into high gear and check out Seattle. Here we are now. Entertain us! <laughs> Almost in the though. famous Space Needle, built for the 1962 Seattle World's Fair. As the story goes, its outline was first doomed. Come on! I hate when this thing gets bounced off the wall, because it instantly does like a 90 degree turn, but there's nothing I can do. Oh my god. It's always like that. Like, I'm hitting a freaking corner, like, I'm hitting a freaking wall. He straight up does a 90 degree turn. It doesn't go straight down the country. wall. That's you've so got annoying in these races. You've got the mountains. You've got a city just bursting with light. So, let's kick it into high gear and check yeah, out Seattle. Seattle. Here we are now. Entertain okay. us. On the left, that's the famous Space Needle, built for the 1962 Seattle World's Fair. As the story goes, its outline was first doodled on a cocktail napkin. Today, it's the most recognizable shape in the city. Finally, second lap and I didn't mess up something. Hope I got once I hope I won't now on third lap. Oh no. Alongside the Seattle monorail here, another landmark built for the 1962 World's Fair. Bad again, but I'm not really trying them. All I'm out of here that they didn't stop me. And 
not amazing, but that's always something. USSD Classic in the bag. Next up in the bag. Is a place a lot of people leave their hearts as the uh -huh. circuit makes its way to San Francisco. I already did that. I already did that game. And yeah. I'll do now, the last thing. Okay, just uh, leave the boards. I guess it's not looking so bad so far after all. And last we have Alpha Grumpus Touring Cars. I'm gonna be Alpha Grumpus Cars, gonna be at US Peter Cities, New York. I'm glad he didn't say Morbid. It would fail because it's here in New York. <laughs> Maybe it is a reference. Since. I mean, this. The US Peter C situation came out like long after the. It's Morbid I mean died, but. I'm not. Personally, I actually liked Morbius, the movie. I was actually there on premiere, and um... Yeah, the story is simple. The effects kind of were not the best, but still... Should be getting it a was nice a life-paying movie for me. Bridge in the distance, crossing from the Lower East Side over there. into Brooklyn. It was once the longest suspension bridge in the world. Not anymore, but still an important through fare. I'm so getting cancelled for that thing. Metal wall right that so oh my sorry. I mean you're actually not supposed to wall it, I don't know. I keep trying out for now, I guess. You'll recognize the giant billboards coming up as Times Square. I've been here myself for multiple New Year's Eve celebrations, and there is truly nowhere else like it. Okay, huh? how big of an improvement is that, huh? Because there's a whole lot more of it still to come. Okay. That's fine, I guess. I thought it would be more, but that's alright. So I currently have 1 minute, 358,214 points, and I'm ninth. Next up, we have the Brits and the uh, uh, Progressing Slalom, Speed Trap, Arbatics, Hypercar Recycle for Noble M500. I prefer that would be New Orleans. Uh, Street Tricycle for Force Vehicle in Disguise, in disguise is T TVR Griffith Peppermint Edition. It's like an okay car, to my opinion. It's, it's not very good, but it's something, I guess. Throwing Car Race, Rally Cross Race, and Street Tricycle for uh, Jaguar SVR Coupe. Professional edition, yeah, F type as we are. And steering car excel for Bentley Continental Super Sports. Like an Alpha Grand Prix, like here. Yeah. That'll be you that will be US Peter East and Hypercast Glory. And then new update will come. Like not the new update, just a new episode. Hopes more stories will be added because they only added like two stories that like just basically are proming uh Motorfest. So I hope uh, something more will be the next time. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like, subscribe, see more videos like this. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.